My name's Jeremy Wall, I'm a producer, and um, we're in the middle of Hollywood Center Studios right now, which is the oldest film lot in the whole of LA. Uh, my background has been uh, not just physical production, but raising money and structuring financing for films. I think this story that's going to be told in the film form is going to be different to a lot of people. For me, the reason why I uh, connected with this story was because ultimately, for me, it was about a father and a son. A father and a son in the most extreme circumstances that I could ever imagine two human beings ever being in. So this is what appealed to me. It was also a story that had not been told, in my opinion. I think we've seen you know, imagery of the atomic bomb, but we'd never really understood a witness of what it was actually really like in Hiroshima. My name is Randall K. Rubin. I'm a screenwriter, and I've been given the honor of being uh, asked to adapt the novel Rising from the Ashes. Uh, the book is a, a tremendous story of survival. It's not just a story of, of survival, but it's also about retaining one's sense of humanity in the face of great adversity. This is an important story. This is a story that needs to be told. The story is really a metaphor for, for the world after World War II. World War II itself was such a horrible time in human history. And it was a very, very dark time for these characters. So what happens to the characters in the story, and what happens in the story is a metaphor for humanity. The book does an excellent job of making certain that we focus our energies on the universal themes here. I think one always looks at what would it have been like if it was oneself in that situation. And then you, know, you have an emotional reaction to that kind of process, which is the film process. You know, when you watch a movie, you imagine yourself to be that lead character or that second lead character. And then you have an emotional response to that because of the circumstances that they find themselves in. In terms of the, you know, the captain of the ship, which is going to be the director, um, you know, it's an important member of the team. The man or woman makes the film, you know, creatively. Uh, what's most important when we're selecting a director is that they really understand the material, that they really understand each emotional uh, arc of the characters and that the cultural background of the setting of Japan. We are going to send it to Oliver Stone. We'd like to send it to Ang Lee, and uh, then we'll be sending it to uh, a few other directors that may not well be known, but have done similar movies in the sense of, uh, you know, effectively using a lot of visual effects uh, previously. This is a story that, when it's made into a film, I want people to talk about what happened as though they lived through it themselves. That's what I want to see because I think that that is the most honest discourse. What's phenomenal, what's amazing about this book and this telling of this story is how you can put yourself in that place and really think to yourself and imagine to yourself, what would I do if I had to go through this? It's extremely powerful.